Hi, I'm Georgina Burke, and I'm represented by IMG Models for the last six years. I'm originally from Brisbane, Australia, outside of Brisbane on a small horse farm. I originally discovered when I was 17 years old in Brisbane, I was at a friend's fashion show and an agent at the time was there and they said, come in and see us. And I was like, no, I was a tomboy. Like, it was lucky I was even to be at this event. And it took a little courage some, from some friends and family and I went in and they were like, we'll sign you on the spot, but you must lose weight. I was about a size 10 at the time and I tried and I tried my hardest and it's, it sucks, I fell into anorexia. Honestly, it's taken many years and I think it's something that I'm forever gonna be working on, especially as a woman in the fashion industry. But definitely as a 17 year old getting told to lose weight, you do feel like you do fall victim to that. And I tried to do that and it just was not for me. And the day that I physically couldn't get on my horse and my dad was like, cut the crap, no more of this. You're obviously modeling's not for you or you need to find another avenue. And that's when I took it upon myself. Health is wealth. Health is foremost, most important thing. And with that, I don't know, I just, I think I look better with a little curve. I never really looked to be in fashion. I did want to be a hairdresser when I was young. I used to work at a local salon. But when I started selling horse riding boots and like working in a little country town um, saddlery store, I was also studying to go into my law degree. And that's when the opportunity came when I was scouted, but it really only took off when I moved to New York because I really felt like plus size modeling or curve is really accepted over here. Whereas back then, which we're talking 12, 13 years ago, it was a very, very small market. My first ever photo shoot, it was tragic. It was a hair campaign and I was so young and naive. They shaved the sides of my hair off, they gave me undercuts, they dyed my bangs green and I had to walk a runway as well for it. But it was one of those jobs that you were like, I've made it, I've booked a job. But yeah, not something I'm too proud of. <laughs> I think there are so many differences, whether globally or from like America within like LA to New York to Sydney and Brisbane. And it's so different. I think the European market is doing huge strides in like the huge brands. Like you've seen the Precious Lees and all these incredible girls walk major shows. And I think in New York, we see it dabbled here and there. Um, I still think there's a long way to go, but I want to applaud all the designers that are on board. I shoot for Ralph Lauren a lot and they're one of like the key brands that have seen it as a necessity to use a woman of size for the longest time. So it's those staple brands that I really love to work for and be a part of because who wants to be that one girl one off chance and then you can't even buy the clothes after the show. Finding out I was going to be in Sports Illustrated not only is a huge milestone in my career. I was stuck in Montana and they gave me 24 hours to get out to Barbados. So it was kind of cool that I didn't get to freak out. I didn't do any crazy diets or anything silly that you know you think you'd want to do for the shoot. And I walked on set and MJ is so incredible because she said, if there's any swim you don't feel like comfortable in, you don't wear it. Like that doesn't happen on a shoot. Like she's so about the woman feeling so empowered and beautiful and confident and that's how you feel running up a beach you want to feel good and on top of that I didn't get to see that as a kid growing up in magazines it it's not even that long ago even 2016 Ashley Graham was put on the front cover and again that was a huge deal for to see a woman of her size and caliber being put on a magazine cover and let alone being in a very itsy bitsy bikini but it's those moments that we are making huge strides and gaining traction again I want to applaud Sports Illustrated for doing so and again putting me in the issue the first job that I booked where I thought I actually made it I've worked honestly con consistently for the 13 years that I've lived in New York City I've been really lucky from the day I've landed I've been a working girl but a few campaigns that have stuck out is the Lauren Ralph Lauren campaigns obviously and I recently shot Sports Illustrated because they're household names that people recognize and just think are 
the tits. Can I say that? <laughs> I fortunately got Lisa on as my booker and she said, give me your hit list. And on the top of it was, I want to shoot for Ralph Lauren, Sports Illustrated and a bunch of other clients. Not only did she nail that top 10 list within six months of the year ending, she killed it. Like, not only does it mean you're shooting with incredible photographers, big hair and makeup, like you learn so much from being surrounded by the greats of the industry. I always get hit up with what is your advice that you wanna give somebody younger. It's not even just for the young ones, it's even for women my age. The modeling world is an incredible world, don't get me wrong, I've traveled the world and met so many incredible people, but you do need to come at it with a thick skin. You are gonna get rejected, especially being a woman of size. I've had so many doors closed in my face, like it's lucky that I can still stand and still wanna be here. I was at the forefront with the Ashy Gray all those girls like I've been in it as long as they have and it's just exciting to see the snowball effect of all of their careers take off but there's one thing that stands out the most to me and it is staying true to yourself I lost myself for a few years there in a terrible relationship and I'm so excited to be back I am so it's all about your confidence and what you bring to the room and who you are it's more than just taking a pretty picture during COVID or the pandemic per se, I started lip servicing with a group of my best friends, Allison and Geraldine and Jody. We just saw a need to give back to the front care line workers. Like we're sitting at home and hitting on pots and pans at nighttime doesn't necessarily mean, you know, yes, we're cheering you on. They probably couldn't even hear us, they're in hospital. And they all had all that PPE gear on. So we decided to put together over a thousand beauty packs and deliver them to the Mount Sinai Hospital. And I'm so excited to be starting this up again and this time it's going to be a cause closer to my heart uh, involving women that have suffered from domestic violence. Um, not only have I experienced that myself but I think it's something that not only got bigger and worse and on a grander scale during this time but I really think it's something that actually affects a lot more women than you would be surprised. I started Burke NYC out of necessity, kind of selfishly for myself. I always struggled to find chic swimwear that not only covered my bras and my butt, but it was also I wanted things that I could manipulate and change. My swimwear is all reversible. The smaller the size, the riskier it is, the bigger the size, the more coverage you have. I just kept finding there was no swim also that had like tummy control and more support for your breasts. Like I don't want to be on my family vacation in like flossing my butt but I definitely wanted something that was like elegant and chic. So that's where Burke came out of. And I just think at that time in 2019, there was such a small market for plus size swim. And I just saw an opportunity and it, it worked. It was the first collection sold out and the second one's doing well. And I'm so fortunate that even Sports Illustrated have shot a few of their girls in it. But it's one of those things that I really, it was missing in the market and I really thought it was a necessity. I started my sunless tan because who doesn't want a gorgeous glow with their swim? But it's also, I get mad rashes from a lot of tans that were on the market and I wanted to do something that not only gives you a stocking of your body and conceals it, it gives me a little more confidence. It makes me feel a little healthier. I live in New York City, it is freezing today and I am as pale as I'd like to be. But the tan overall, I use it not only for obviously covering up those lumps and bumps, but it just really smooths out your skin and gives you an overall glow. So many of my friends, young women, women of all ages are starting to become young entrepreneurs. I've been a model for 13 years and I was like, I need to be doing something else other than just getting my picture taken. I have a brain, I'm smart, I like, I don't wanna be like the typical stereotype. And I really think like the best advice people have given me is go for it. You can't lose. If you feel you have a product that people are gonna love, let alone yourself, it is going to sell. The amount of work you put into it is going to show. And honestly, that's all what it's about. Just don't hold yourself back. And that comes back to modeling as well. Don't let your family guide you. Don't let, like, listen to your peers, listen to people you trust. Really go after it and do it for you. Don't do it for anybody else. I'm Georgina Burke, and that is how I got where I am today.